Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, zero zero eight. We live in full effect. Um, Shade is actually uh just been preparing herself, so we are gonna wait for her. Uh, let me know when you prepare, baby. Are yeah. these the right notes this time? Because last time you told me I was on the wrong. All right, well, we, notes. we got uh yeah we we yeah we yeah. Right, Thanks well. to Alex, he he definitely put us in po on point. Hey, um, so we got a lot of shit to talk about today, and we can. It's been a crazy week. Like on all angles. On um, all angles. Catch twenty two hookah. You know the vibe. You see the ace bottle. Yeah. So look, this is what you can do. Um, make sure you highlight like Catch Twenty Two Hookah on Instagram. Uh, they can give you any type of custom hookahs. Whatever you want. You want John Perignon. You want Ace of Spades. What you want? Crown Royal. You Duce. want Henny Drinker. What you like? Some tequila, Malagro. Mm -hmm. What you want? Patron. Yep. You got that. Yeah. So he he can get customize your hookahs however you want it. Look, we even got green to match the couch. Yeah. Yep. Shout out to Catch Twenty Two Hookah. Catch Twenty Two. Of course, uh, Milani. Of course, like always in you. You already know Jim Fitz on the body. Make sure you follow uh, Milani Brand M O L A N D I B R A N D on Instagram. And at Jim Fitz Fitness. You already know I got the waist trainer on because it's Sunday and I am getting snatched and getting right. Body and of shaping. course, body molding, shaping, oh. all that, whatever you call it. Body shaping is fine. All right. Yep. So. You, you know. shout out young baby Mai? Yes, and of course I got my baby girl Melt by Mai, and that is Melt.XMai for my pretty necklace. It's so cute. I love it so much. It's just a, you know, a little touch of like, you know, I and, love it, so. And we still working on this. We supposed to break it down. What? Like break it down per, like, Sponsorship per segment type shit. So yeah, you know, mine, you know. But we're going to get it. We're going to get our shit we together. We're going to get our shit together. Hey, for um, sure. yo, shout out to, uh, small shout out to uh, my guys at, um, shit, million dollars worth of game. Three yo, million dollars. That's motivation. That's motivation. That shit's and crazy. And their podcast is no, that lit. Shit is lit. Like, I, ain't I lie. fuck with Gilly the Kid and Wallow. They're yeah. doing their damn thing. So shout out to them. Cause that that's shit is hard. Goals. Because, like, they are, like, definitely them. And it's just entertaining, like they're yeah. faking it. Yeah, they're just they just here. They nuts. They're, they're, I love it. They, they just... <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> I love million dollars worth of game. What's up? Yeah, Put me yeah. on a podcast. I want. I'm trying to be yeah, on the podcast. I know, but I want to be a guest. Wow. You know, just we, so I want them. They can. We could be. They can mentor us. I want them to look at our shit and be like they want to be guests. Yeah. Period. I'm always on that. Show. Pull up on the couch. <laughs> You feel yeah, me? We got spots nah, nah, on the couch. Nah, nah, 100 spots on the couch. What we gonna do is, we need to talk about this. I, All right. I don't even wanna see I'm coming off like, I'm calling shit thinking it's like, oh, Jay think he run shit. But I was thinking, and I'm asking you, if you okay with it. Are you I asking was, me yeah, something? Okay. I was thinking like, we have our guests sitting in a gray chair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We on a separate the couch, angle. You know what I'm saying? Then we got two of them just in case two of them. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Then, we're gonna put some guests up. Yeah. All right, get ready. We're gonna put some guests up then. Yeah. I, I, 12, I like it. A couple things when we don't. I like it. Yeah, we got some things coming for y'all. So make sure you follow the Instagram page at the Gemini Scorpio Pod mm -hmm. Instagram page because yeah. it'll have all the tea and just, you know, all our updates and we lit. Like, period. Yo, and make sure you um subscribe. And don't just subscribe to the YouTube and Anchor and Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Make sure you press the notification button so you can know when we're posting. Yes, um, yes. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Alex was saying something behind the camera. What you were saying, bro? Shout out to our producer. Oh. Shout out to our producer. Because he told me to speak louder. Say. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Can we get into this? Or What's up? What's T? What you, what you want today? What you what you feel like talking about today? Well, um, all right. We got, a, wanna, we got a hell of shit to talk yeah, about. So, so I was let's get into it. Acceptance. Okay. What's acceptance up, acceptance? In relationships. Um, so I feel like acceptance is an easy word to talk about and to, to create the conversation, but it's really, it's hard. It's, it's easier said than done. It's very easier said than done. Right, because usually if we think of acceptance, like we allow you, to, I, I'm allowing my partner or my girlfriend to be her. She's allowing me to be me, but also that comes, also something that comes with acceptance is growing, learning each other and being okay with the things you don't like. Yep. Or yep. learning how to maneuver in a relationship with maybe character traits you don't like or yeah. just things that you might not see yeah. that you look at the same yeah. way. Yeah. So I was gonna ask you, what are some things, or how, not even how, like how do you view acceptance in relationships? One, and what are some things you might not accept, 
or just I just want to have the conversation. Yeah, on like, let's put the put, let's put it out. Um, it's fucking hard, you know. I think that you know by default, like we all have either what we haven't disclosed as our non-negotiables, right, or just things that we just plain out just don't fuck with prior to even the relationship. So like some things you just really may have not liked before and you didn't see it out your partner so later in the relationship and you just like i don't like that like you know what i mean um so i don't know so acceptance is just really hard so for example like me and jay are very different like Mm -hmm. you know as much as we're the same we're very fucking different and um i think that when you're with somebody a lot just after time goes on and like you know we're two years now after time goes on there's just honestly i think things just start coming up you just start making up shit you don't like like you just wake up like oh i hate the way this nigga yawns yo shut your fucking mouth Damn, like, like not that? i'm just saying like or like uh why he always gotta leave this one sock in the bathroom on the floor no, don't try to change it don't try like to you know what i'm saying it. like anything but it could be really anything like i think when you spend a certain amount of time with each other like you know things could just annoy you like you know especially like for example the biggest thing i know about girls is like you know girls typically well i would hope live different than men Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so you know a lot of people get into the stage where they want to move in with their significant others or even if they don't the significant other spends a lot of time at the other person's house right and it's just we live different you're you're male i'm female like the way our ocd may be set up of how i like the bathroom and how i like the kitchen may just be ideally different than a guy's in the beginning it's cute it's like oh i'll clean up after bay or oh it's okay or whatever the situation may be later on as you guys are more comfortable with each other and like you know you have the pressures of everyday life you might come home and be like why the fuck or like right. oh i hate that like you know what i mean and then as time goes on you really didn't realize that this has been the same since the beginning but because you're later down the road you realize like i'm fucking annoyed like you know what i mean and i think that people have to remember that people sometimes do show you everything they need to show you in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You just were blind. You had those love blind glasses on, like you didn't see it. And then you were like, or or you chose not to see it or view it away. And then later it's like, complain about it, complain about it, complain about it. Truthfully, it's actually unfair to your partner because I haven't, you know, I haven't changed or you haven't changed. And, now you just don't like this about me all of a sudden like and i think that we have to get comfortable with just notating that this is just this person and it doesn't make it a thing like you know what i mean and it wasn't a thing then so don't make it a thing now and even if it annoys you now some things are just what it is like what 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 are you willing to just like all right that's just what it is you know I'm not going to make it a thing. I think, like, um, honestly, <clears throat> before I even get into me, because I definitely wanted to get into me, I think a lot of things, sometimes, well, a lot of times we go into this honeymoon stage, it's like, okay, I, I like this person, mm-hmm. but you don't really get, you don't really know this person. And a lot of people don't understand how hard it is to get to know somebody. Like, even in two years, we fully, we really don't know each other. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And when you're learning new things about people, even if it's not, it's if, even if it's things that you haven't seen when y'all first started talking, because it's new, our as humans, our our mind automatically reject new. Anytime mm-hmm. we see something new, that it's like, nah, I don't like that because it's different. So anytime we see something different, it's like we reject it instead of embracing it. And I feel like when you're getting to know each other, you really have to have patience. And I know, um, I always well, in the beginning. I'm starting to say this thing as patience isn't a cliche is real life. And mm-hmm. because you notice things when you patient and, and, when, and when, when you become patient, you see how easy it is because you, you accept more. And I feel like the easier we accept things, the easier our life be or yeah. our relationships be. Because a lot yeah. of times, again, it's just we'll see something. Or we'll start to see a new trend like now, yeah. like the whole time, yeah. like you said, it's just us. Yeah, it's just who you are. And I think it also like, you know, like, um, you know, like people post that famous Bob Marley quote and it's like, everybody will hurt you or, you know, disappoint you, but you got to pick the person that's worth it right, to, exactly. you know, write it out with. So all that to say, it doesn't directly go in terms of hurt, but it's even what acceptance. Like everybody is not going to be your cup of tea, like even in your significant other, like every, like somebody's not always going to do things you like, like 
no matter what, like nothing's ever like just always the way you like it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's going to be times that people you really care about just really don't do things you like. And like, whether it's your mother, I don't care who it is. And so a good friend of mine said something that I really liked the other day was like, yo, we grow up with brothers and sisters or siblings or cousins or whoever, right? Your whole life. Y'all been arguing your whole fucking life. Like there's things you find that you don't like, but you love them. That shit. Y'all are growing every day. You love them. Like, you can't change that. Like, that's who, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing in a relationship. It's just that you pick the person. Right. So it's just like, yo, I don't like it. And it's like, it doesn't have to be the end of the world. It doesn't have to be the end of the relationship. Like, the big thing I think that what happens is people struggle with acceptance and they just really don't like things. And they act like it's so detrimental because they really just don't like it. And a lot of times it can be something small that escalates into something bigger because it's one of those things that like, I just don't like that and I just don't like that. And it's just like, well... But you know like, what I you think? Know? <clears throat> Again, I, I believe, I talked about this before, I believe this new generation coming into this this aspect of being free, this free world so many times, so much, yeah. right? So it's like, yeah. I can think free, I can yeah. be free, yeah. I can be me, I can, even just the, the, the American dream is, I can be whoever I wanna be in life as long as I work hard, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, when we're in a relationship, at times it's like, man, I want to feel most comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, like if I don't like it, then I can just find somebody else where yeah. it'll be something that I do yeah. like. Or not saying that it's perfect, but it's yeah. like, man, look. They complain less or they'll accept it. Yeah, less, because we're, we're like more. It's just mm -hmm. just generation of we don't really work hard for anything anymore. Everything comes overnight. This instant, instant gratification, uh, social media is like everything is overnight now. We don't yeah. see anything that's that's working hard. So even it comes down to our relationship. So when we see things that we're not used to or we don't like, it's like, all right, I don't, I don't like that. Right. I'll find somebody Forget where that. things that I, I do like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just don't work like that. <clears throat> but I think um to move forward, just to go um about about it and deeper, like my my problem with not even acceptance, well, it is acceptance. My I think one of where I go wrong is I try, so I'm a problem solver, right? So because I'm a problem solver, when I see things that I don't like, I try, I try to like air quotes for people that's not watching the video. I try to mold somebody into being what I like. And a lot of times that end up being bad because I'm trying to mold them into being me because that's how everything, I, how I see it, I feel like that's how it should be, right? So it's like, all right, bet. She don't like this, so let me tell her how she should be like this. And it comes off very, uh, you would know before me. Um, <laughs> Like, I mean, not local. territorial, but it comes off, like, demanding. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I'm kind of yeah. demanding you to be somebody that you're not. And yeah. that's, I just wanted to, like, talk on where I go wrong. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you might can talk on, like, where yeah. you might see yeah. yourself going wrong yeah. with acceptance. I, you know, it's funny. Like, I think we all do that. Like, it's just like, you know, really, like, you know, we're looking for somebody who is like us, like, or loves like us, or, you know, communicates like us in these things. But when we look at the, the bigger picture to it, Nobody is like us. We are our own individual selves. Like we, even if in the perfect, like in the world, like there's never going to be somebody who's identically going to love or communicate our way. Right. It's just not how we, we all have walked different lives and paths and different, in different shoes, different journeys, different family structures. We were all held different. Like we all move different. So to sit here and say like, you know, well, I, you know, I don't like that you do that and you should do it like this is better. It's like, no, we have to learn how to coincide in each other's skin. Like we have to be able to be ourselves, but learn how to compromise and learn how to look. I know you don't like that. So I could do less of that and I'll try my best to not do that. But the key to it is like, please understand my intention. When you do see me do it, it doesn't mean that I'm trying to affect attack or um, come at you or right. harm you in any way. It's just who I am, like, and it's just the way I do things. And it doesn't make me, you know, less than you, or it doesn't make me more than you. This is just how you I operate, how and I'm right. Exist in right. the same world. And then the thing is, we're all unlearning things that we learned before that we thought were something that's no longer, you know, that we grow up to see. Like, damn, that's not even the right way to do that. But it takes years of unlearning things to really. Learn it the right way. Like, just imagine how long we've been here. Mm -hmm. And now here we are, you know, in relationships and friendships and things. And we done went 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 years this way. Right. Now we get in this relationship. It's just like, just change. It's it just hard. doesn't right. work like that. No matter like, so 
Somebody may do it today and then you tell them about it. They're like, all right, I won't do it next time. And they will do it again. They will. And you have to be, give people grace, grace and room to grow and learn through over time. And that's for both of us. Like, you know, I think me and Jay are not in a perfect relationship. We don't try to even let Betray people yeah, yeah. think that because at the end of the day, we are both growing and learning and unlearning things we've been doing our whole entire life. It is really a process. And people like, don't it's understand, a process. like, growth hurts, like, again. Hurts like a mother. This is not cliche. It's real life. Like, again, I always uh, compare things in real life. When you go to the gym and you start, your body start to grow, your muscles start to get bigger, they hurt. You know what I'm saying? Bad. You're in pain. Yep. Uh, after you have surgery to fix something, it hurts. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yep. we got to understand that growth hurts and, and we can't run from pain. Yeah. We got to smack it dead on. But yeah. to go, like you said, our relationship, we aren't perfect. Far from it. Um... And I think we are two years and we're just coming to this this spot where we have to learn to accept each other. Yep. How entirely. How do you think we can on both sides accept each other more? Like even like just on mm -hmm. some real shit. Yeah. Um, for example, uh I think I made a rant on Instagram, whatever. And then at the end I was just saying like how thank God for my girl. But you was up you was like, I've been trying to tell you this. Like Yeah. How, I, so what happened was Jay went on a rant on Twitter, I'm um, not Twitter, on uh, Instagram Live, you know, just going into, you know, profound of faith and accepting where you are in life and patience to get to that next thing. And, um, you know, obviously growing. It wasn't a rant. It was yeah, a, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was good for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I, so what, and then at the end he was like, you know, shout out my, <laughs> <laughs> a testimony. Boom, that's what he gave, a testimony. And then at the end he was like, you know, shout out to my girl, for, you know, always telling me to get my faith up, right? So when he got home, I told him, like, because what happens is, like, when Jay's having a hard time, you know, going through daily life struggles, we all go through it, and I'm trying to be that voice, like, you know, babe, like, you got this, whatever. He don't be trying to hear that shit in that right. moment, right? So he be like, you're just not listening. Like, I just need you to just listen. And, I mean, there'd be times I'd be like, I'm really just trying to give you the words, and you don't want to hear it, and it'll hurt my feelings, right? But realistically, he's listening, He's just not in the space to receive it the way I want him to receive it, right? So then he receives it, and then when he gets, you know, to tell his testimony, he's like, I had, you know, what you got to do with it. And I'm listening like, motherfucker, <laughs> I told you that that whole time. <laughs> like, how the fuck you get up here? Yeah, you gave me a little shout-out at the end, but I've been telling you that. So, you know, all that to say, you know, I could have accepted the fact that he ain't me no harm by that. Like, he wasn't doing nothing wrong. And in those moments... He did understand what I was saying. He just needed to be comforted in another way. But of course, in that time, I wanted it to be like, thank you, babe. I get what you're saying. Like, you know, you're telling me how to do this and thank you. But it wasn't that. You know what I mean? But even still, so in those times, should I, it's dope that you like and recognize that you wasn't being accepting at the end. But let's talk about in those times, right? Instead of rejecting the advice, should it be more of a, yo, thank you? I, honestly, I just think that it's one of those things is there is no right or wrong answer to it because that is how we come to terms to stuff like this. Because, like, see, if you're in that mode and you are rejecting it in a way where it's just like, I don't want to hear that right now, like, right now, sometimes that's okay. Sometimes people, when you give people advice, they don't want to they don't want to hear a shitload of advice. Like sometimes people just want somebody to listen and to just say, I understand. So it, it, it doesn't mean you had to do anything different. Right. It's just that it, it just, you know, I'm also human too. So I could have been in my own space where I'm, tr you know, I'm trying to be here for you. I need you to accept that I'm trying to be here for you so that I know that you accept that I'm your partner and I, I got your back and I'm not telling you nothing wrong. There's no way, wrong way to do that. Again, it all goes into the intention. We have to understand that, you might have thought that I was giving you something you didn't need in that moment, but accepting that she means well. She's not trying. I, I get what she's doing. I had to accept the fact that he doesn't need to hear it like that. That's not the way he wants to be comforted right now. So just because he says, like, not like that, I don't have to take it like, wow, you're not listening to me or you don't like what I have to say to you or whatever, whatever. So it's just there's no so, right or wrong answer to that. It's just, again, acceptance. Like, right. just accept the moment for what it is. It doesn't have to be more than that. You know, you know. I think I probably shed a couple of tears because I'm a cry baby sometimes. You know what I mean? So I probably was like, 
wow like you know what i mean but again it's just really accepted had i accepted a moment it would have just been like girl he don't mean nothing he just in his you know he in a mood let him be in his mood let him take his time we'll talk we'll revisit it later he'll hear it when he's down and you know got had some time to process it doesn't mean it has to be again some detrimental situation where now we're in an argument because i didn't want to accept the moment you didn't want to accept the advice now it's like wow you never listened to me and now you do too much and now we in this big fight for no reason just so, accept it again like acceptance is definitely like easier said than done how do we put that oh, in yeah. action like how like how do you because there's been times where mm -hmm. i thought like i've given you advice and mm -hmm. you didn't accept it at the time and i, I was upset i didn't accept yeah. that you probably needed some more time yeah. you know what i'm saying but yeah. how do we and it's easy to say yo all right next time mm -hmm. if i'm giving her advice and she mm -hmm. don't take it i just have to accept that mm -hmm. how do we put that in motion how do we really go forward forward with it so what i'm learning very much so is be slower to respond. Mm. And I think that we are so quick to respond through what we felt like as if it just struck and it's not like I feel. Like, you know what I mean? We have to feel it, sit on it, and let it process. Like, we have to stop being so quick to respond because if we sit for a second, again, solitude and stillness does bring clarity. Mm. So if you can sit for a second and not be so quick to respond, I could have sat for a second, sat on it for 30 minutes, and he, by the time I went back to revisit it, like, hey, you know, what, he might have been in a whole different space. But when you respond so quickly in the space that he was in or in the space that I was in, it is room for fire and negative energy. And it, negative energy just breeds off of one another. Like, you, you come from a calmer place it's going to attract that. Like now we can talk calm because you're not directly in your feelings right now about what you're in your feelings about. I'm not directly sitting here, you know, trying to pr press the situation. Like, you know what I mean? We had time. I think slower responses. So, so do we have, thing. should we recognize that in the moment? Because I know it, it's been times where I haven't like <clears throat> responded and because I'm trying to be like there for you yeah. in another way, mm -hmm. but it'll come off as if I'm not being comforting to you, right? Yeah. So should we speak? So if I'm talking to you mm -hmm. and you're being slow to respond, I might take it as, damn, you're not even listening to me. Should right. we say that like, hey, babe? I, I, I think <clears throat> communicating is key. Just saying like, hey, you know, I just want to respond to this the best way. So I need to take a second. So and we happens? have to be okay with facts. We have know. to be okay with yeah, that. Like, what, you know what I mean? As humans, again, yeah, we, we want we immediate, both, like, nah, then, like, I. Not even that. We, we'll think, like, it just shouldn't be this complicated. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? We should be able to just talk, but it's just not. We have to accept that. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Accept that, yo, just because this is that, who the fuck said that's complicated? Like, you know what I mean? What if things just need more time to process? And even in the smallest aspects, like, Patience is a real thing. Right. So if it's patience, patience is time. Mm -hmm. Patience is surrounded by time and the length of time and, and being okay with the time. You know what I mean? 100%. Um, so I, like, I think that, you know, again, it's not, we have to get out of the idea of everything is complicated right. or everything right. is detrimental or just like, this is too hard. Like, and that, that's a, like a perfect segue into what you wanted to talk about though. Yeah. Because yeah, what happens when, when we do get frustrated, because again, we could talk all this, but at the yeah, end of the day, we're human. Yeah, you know it's what happened. So, what happens at that point? Now we, now we're, we had all the advice in the world, yeah, and we still frustrated. Yeah, and now we just like fed up with each other. Like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, so you know, so my 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 segment of where I was going is 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 about space and or breaks. Right. Right. So, is Space and breaks necessary in a relationship. That's because you wanted to take a break. Just a few days ago, you wanted to break up. Basically, like yo, I'm about to just I definitely fuck with some thought other I, I was about to be like, look, give me it. No, I didn't say what the fuck. You like, ain't say that, but you. That's not, I never. This is where a break is. No, like, it's you want to take a break to go fuck with somebody else. Who the fuck said that's a break? That's what a break. Girls, no. want, whatever. And I, I was more concluding on space. I might have been petty and said break, but I didn't mean it. And if he thought. We was on a break and he went to go do something else, you know, chitty chitty bang bang for niggas. Because then, then you was going to do something. You heard? No, it's not about being tip for tat. Is that you might have not been all right? All right so, boom. Um, all that to say is space and break. So I I don't know, like honestly, if 
that is great for a relationship or is it detrimental for a relationship? Because space and breaks can do two things. It either can bring you closer or it can bring you apart. So when you say space, the first thing I think about is space, right? Okay, how do you view space? So what's your definition of space? At first, I ain't gonna lie, like space, like, you know, break space, you know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I really think space is just like, Going out, doing your own thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like just, you go hang with the fellas, you go hang with the girls. Yeah. You go take a day, I'll take a day. You right, take a self-care a, day, I'll take a self-care day. Right. Da, da, da. That's and then that way, and also, what we were just talking about, that goes into time. Because mm-hmm. it gives it time to, like, mm-hmm. relax or, and chill out. That's what I look at. What, what do you think break, what, is, what do you think a break means in a relationship? I mean, honestly, it depends. If we're talking about this real, not genuine, but, like, this, this real... Um, healthy relationship, a break can be space too. Just take a break, just go hang okay. with you. you know what I'm saying, but again, yeah. in our new generation, yeah, we know what a break yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like, a break is like basically a hall up. pass. Yeah. It's a, it's see, a fucking hall that's pass. What, see, that's what she's thinking. Bro. No, Clearly, I'm telling you, what the new, we was talking about the new generation. I said yeah, the new generation girls, right? for guys. Fuck are you talking about? And you look, that's for guys. But what I'm saying is, I'm not saying I said that. I'm saying the new generation so thinks we, that so a break is a hall a break, pass. If we that, take a break, you're you not know, gonna take a date with another nigga? Nah. Because at that point, Fucking I don't even want to deal with no right. other niggas. Like, ugh, get all niggas. Da, trash. You ain't, you ain't trying to get treated right. Da, you, know, you, gonna, ugh, you gonna meet a nigga like, niggas. yeah, like he understand me. Damn, God. No, damn. but who Let said on a break, you gotta meet anybody? What if a break is, I just don't wanna see or breathe men energy? Like, oh, I gotta so you understand meet a chicken, men testosterone. Yeah. I mean, no. you watch the, the Remy Ma uh, what? sit down with Angela Yee? What'd she say? Oh, you ain't watch it? No, I ain't watch that. Mm-hmm. What'd she say? Give me a little clip. <laughs> she was just basically saying, I'm saying, girl on girl is more intimate because they understand. You so I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it on it. I cannot date a girl because we're also super emotional and I don't need times two of that. I need some balance. Like, you know what I mean? As much as male testosterone and energy and masculinity can just be a lot. You need some balance. I need balance. Like I can't do two of me. Hell no. I know I'm a handful. You need That's balance. what you got you two need, hands for. You need balance. You feel balance. what I'm saying? You're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> He's nasty, okay? So, what I'm saying is not. Nah, it doesn't mean male or female. Like I said, so, if you ask me, my definition of space is very similar to yours. I think space is, you know, just take some space. You go do your thing. I go do my thing. I do self-care. You do self-care. You go with your boys. I go with my girls. Or whatever. I think, so... It was recently that I never really thought about taking a break, but I almost did want to take a break. But it wasn't a break, like a hall pass break, right? It was more of a break, like, I might really need some time to grow individually. So I was like, and whether the break was like a week or two, I was even, like, I was really contemplating, like, maybe we need, like, an unplug from relationship to individually reflect. I I think that's what they always say, it ain't you, it's me. That's what I didn't say that. Niggas. What I said was I needed to see. I, I was thinking this was also a thought, guys, a thought. I was like, do I need to take a moment, a week or two to individually sit with myself to see if it's me or like there's not it's me. Or but like your homegirl go out and drink and y'all no, go. Have like I mean, uh, like, like no, like I probably would in that break take go out to drink with my friends or go out. I'm not mm, saying me, that, me but it was more so to see if I needed to really be and go out to, to myself for a week too. or two weeks. However, sh- and go with a, out to drink with a guy, right? No, I didn't say that. All right, because we got. I said clear for the, our friends. My friends this is full of shit, but whatever. Go ahead. So I said. You know, that's what it was a thought. But then I said to myself, I said, you know, I think space is good. Breaks, I think. It's detrimental. No, it's not that it's detrimental. Because you're nasty. (laughs) Because you nasty. Whatever. It's one of those things where it's like, I think we should be growing individually regardless. Mm. Right. So all that to conclude, space is a necessity. But, you know, just don't use the word space with me, though, because you say space, I need space. I'm going outer space, nigga. Oh, Fuck my God. Anyway, so. Outer how, space, what, what, NASA. What do, we, what do we conclude from this? Time and patience. Is that time, the, the conclusion for patience both Patience is time. Okay. And space is okay. All right. Space is okay, but don't say space to you because you want outer space. 
just be tread lightly when you say the worst way. Don't be like, I need fucking space. Give me space. You know, no, I just need some space. No, I think you could be like, look, I think we just should take some space. You go, you know, have some time with your girls or have a, a self-care day. And, you know, fellas, don't don't be afraid to be like, here, babe, go to the spa. <laughs> don't be afraid of like, you know, you know, you just set them on a little That's date or whatever. Send me you on the spa. Fair, ladies, don't be don't okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, don't f- feel free to go ahead and send your man on a little facial spa, little thing going on. Um, but, yeah, space is okay, y'all. All it's right. not a bad thing, y'all. We got that. All right, boom. Good what shit. the hey, fuck is going on in the world? That's a lot of crazy shit. A lot of craziness. Um, Where we at? Moving right on time, like 35 minutes in. Um, perfect timing. Let's go into this. Uh, Yo, catch 22 hookah. All right, y'all. Should I? I was just, that shit wasn't hitting when I. You don't know how to pull. You heard? Hey, 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 hey. Watch your mouth. Come on. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about the, uh, this Donald Trump I wish I could shit. do O's. Donald how you Trump. pronounce the dude's name? <clears throat> Salamani. 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 I know that was the easier mm-hmm. general Salamani. The second in command to Iran president. Yeah. And, said supreme leader, excuse me. And said president. No, we're going to be doing this for this yeah, subject yeah. for a second. Because this is like, one of those things we're trying you know to be saying? politically correct in all things we say. We do not right. want to give false facts or false wording to things. So what period. was the purpose of... So I, I seen Trump say they were planning... Um, attacks for the U.S. So apparently they did strike and it it hurt some Americans uh, as well as um, injured some Americans. Um, he said that he had they had word that they would be planning more strikes like that on Americans. Right. But my thing is, who the fuck is his source and where the fuck did he get that information from? I mean, I, you know I've the government, a, they be having like... Yeah, but things. I feel like, okay... When you put that out to the public and you say things like, you know, and they planned on doing that. You got to have some You got to let us know. All right. We need to know how. Because first of all, we already a lot, you know, as he's equally hated, equally loved by who he's loved. Right. But the people like we still in this together. So we all need to understand if you're going to make a judgment call like that. Yes. Where does that come from? Like when he says it, he's like, and they were going to plan. I need. Where? How do we know? know, My nigga, like, what? How do we know? Because, like, you're putting all of us in danger, and, nigga, we don't, we not even supporting your shit, so. Like, It's like, yo, I ran, if y'all want to beef, like, fight that nigga by himself. Like, leave us the fuck out of it. Um, I, I really, so, I didn't know that he could make that call without Congress, which is the crazy thing. And, you know. Wait, he can or he can't? I didn't know that he could make those calls without Congress in the House mm-hmm. on that. Okay. You know what I mean? So you see, what's crazy to me is he made this call, he does this, and he says, well, they were going to do it to us. That's like, that's to me, that's no different than like, you know, I go beat somebody up because they, they said they was going, because I heard they was going to do that to yeah, us. It's like, childish. it's like, it's, it's, it's almost childish. Like, but this is real so what life is, what does going this mean? on. What does it mean? Alex, help us out too. What does this mean? So... Was, yeah, I mean, so, yeah. But, so I see I mean, the Supreme just, Leader. Yeah. So the Supreme Leader did speak and say he does not have any problems with the American people. His wait, target that was old, is. A, though. That video was old. That's old? Yeah, so I, yeah, Allegedly. Yeah, that video was old. That's what I've seen. Again, we don't know what Again, too much, but, again. But they said, just, like, death to America has always been a thing. Like, yeah, well, okay. So what, one thing that I like that Kaepernick, you know, shout out to Kaepernick because he's always in on the politics. One thing that I, I, I like that he said is, like, and not that I like that he said that I paid close attention to him saying, is that, you know, U.S. and the American military or, or just the American, what you deem American, has always bullied brown always. and black. Always. You know, here and abroad. You know what I mean? And it's one of those things where, you know, we wonder why abroad and all these foreign places think U.S. is so spoiled and they get to do what they want to do with no retaliation. I just think that this is just one of those things where, it's no different of what they've been doing here yeah, all the time 100%. when it comes to the black and brown. And I think that, you know, after a while, when does Americans understand that, you know, the black and brown and foreign and abroad, they with the shits. Like, you know what I mean? They're very much with the shits. Um, you know, him putting out these, you know, 
threats, just the threats on both sides, you know, have me a little alarmed of, you know, the video that's allegedly old saying that, you know, we don't want to harm the American people, but Trump, you know, y'all get ready. You know what I'm saying? Something's happening for y'all. Trump saying y'all better not do anything because we spent $2 trillion on money for equipment to be able to do everything we need to to y'all. So basically play with us if you want to. Well, that's dumb that's, shit. It's like he's asking for it. It's like, but uh, the nigga. other side of what I've seen, of what they were saying before this even happened, that Trump was, it's crazy. Before this happened, it was already a rumor that he's already in the impeachment process. The one thing he's going to do is going to start a war because we can't change presidents once a war starts. Mm. They've been saying that they were going to do that. It's just... See, so to see it happening now is kind of like... You know, like this is it? How strategic was this? But did the, did he not even did he smart, really though. get did he really get this intellect that they were going to do something, or was this a strategic plan? But I don't think it was nothing about it was strategic because first of all, this, the being a war is it costs money. You're putting so many lives at risk, and Alex, you were saying like this is we even none of our wars we fought here, right? So. So outside of the, the Re Revolutionary War and the Civil War, and, then the and we never had a war like inside the United States, right? So it's like, it's just to antagonize somebody to basically bring harm's way to your home, it's kind of just not smart, if that makes sense. But that's why, again, that's why we've sent like, what, 3,000? Probably more than that now, 3,000 soldiers to Iran? Like 3,000 plus? Let's talk about that. It's just because, you know, you know, like even like the fact that. And we're that still just, my bad, it's like we're still asking for it because we're bringing people in their territory. And along along your lines of saying like America always been bullied, that's why 9 11 hit. Like, honestly, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, facts. I'm not saying it's okay, but because we've always been this bully, people look at us like, man, these niggas are spoiled. We got to do something to hurt them. And it just sometimes Especially not right. Especially because these are, ha this, the, this is happening in their country all the all time. All the time. You see how many times we like, see. So we get 9 11. 11 years ago and it's still a and, big, and deal. It's still a big they, deal but they had this happening like all the clockwork time. like you know what i mean you don't see this shit like, on the news and you don't see it on the news half of it doesn't hit and it's like we are asking for it at this point um you know and shout out to the soldiers you know my prayers are definitely up for the soldiers because you know i, I think people know that deployment is a part until it's time to get deployed mm. You know what I mean? Then it's like, shit, we really in this. Like, we really, we really got to stick this out. And it's just very sad because, you know, you see the soldiers having to deal with the backlash. And even though they signed up to defend the country, but what at what cost of, like, selfishness and hate? I thought we go to war for when we are really trying to fight for a cause or, you know, something that's really for the people. But right now it's really... Cause we're bullying motherfuckers. I'm like play this, that's like, sad. The dude, he actually spoke out on it. Yeah. And we can get into the whole yeah. Twitter shit after this. But beside him, was, keep, besides we, him, keep licking his damn lips. I feel like he was trying to look for a day. I feel like he was trying, he was really trying to get somebody to slide in his DM. Uh, and it worked. Cause girls was like, I I'll be stop. there to come help you. Like, right. But this is what he said. Hey man, we un I understand that. I got, I'm, I'm in a group ad generation. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit, y'all post hilarious or whatever, but I gotta understand, man, somebody like me that been out here since November, in the middle of the shit, I mean, if y'all can sit there and post those memes and stuff, y'all can sit there and post a good little meme about being positive for us or damn praying for us or some shit, man, come on, man, like, my generation gotta tighten up sometime, it's like, bro, we really going through this shit. And a lot of us really, really not coming back. So, like, a prayer or a simple good look, that shit can help. I mean, y'all y'all can post that shit, too, you feel me? And you know, you got to be so funny about this shit. And to the four brand soldiers that coming out here, man, hey, man, I, I salute y'all, man. Shit, I'm going to be here for y'all. Shit, I'm going to be here with y'all. So, shit, I mean, just keep... Yeah, so Crazy. like, nah, it's definitely that's coming. Black from Twitter, what's up the, with y'all, yo? That's somebody that's in the trenches, so like. Black Twitter, what's up with y'all, yo? So. Yo, it reminds what me. What do we take serious, honestly? Yo, like, what nothing, do we take serious? Nothing. Like, nothing. It reminds me, remind, but not even just Black Twitter, right? Because before, let's say before this whole, well, Twitter been around, but before this whole like social media frenzy, 
remember um I, and this might be a bad comparison hopefully not but remember uh hurricane katrina yes and even though the warnings was late they been told them to evacuate yeah but everybody's yeah. like nah i'm not going anywhere yeah um yeah. i'm staying I, I pay for this house things like that yeah. we don't take it serious but it shows now that we now that twitter is popping again about yeah. again it been popping but yeah. you see how we really think because yeah. we're still i don't think they were joking about it they just didn't want to leave and i i, yeah. I think it's the same where it's just not taking it serious like yeah. we need to take every all these everything things serious. serious and it shows that we're not prepared because like see the thing is like you know you see things happen like that in new york to 9 11 but people think it can't happen anywhere right like you know what i mean like it really can't happen like, it can't anywhere happen in dc like, right like exactly shit, yeah. like it could really happen anywhere and until somebody is actually affected like personally when it's their own people or like that like there's people it's tons of people who have family mothers family members brothers uncles like sorry no, I mean, that should be <laughs> but i know you can hear it through the mic um, brothers, uncles, you know, cousins, significant others, fiancés, husbands, all in the military being deployed off. And here we are joking as if they may come yeah. back. Like, they, they, like it's guaranteed that they come back. Like, it's very insensitive, and it shows just the lack of knowledge that people have on the seriousness behind what they're joking about. So do you think it's all the way wrong, or do you think someone... Because someone is So, funny. like, I know, like, people love it. Like, they like, you know, we find... Like, you know, the one thing I love that... Not love, but I think it's funny that they say it is like, oh, you know, as black people, we find light in all the dark places. Like, we'll we'll find jokes in anything. Like, you know what I mean? But Until some shit just ain't funny. you're the one in a dark funny. place on yourself. Right. And then you see... You got to understand how insensitive it is. Just, like, everybody has a social media. So just think about somebody who's crying... And praying that their yeah, husband comes back and right. is on social media. And now we see, damn, like, da 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 Like, you know, I'm setting my significant other, the future meme. Like, look, I ran to Iran today. <laughs> and I thought that, you know, before we go to war, I wanted oh, to yeah. see if I miss you. You know, like, like just stupid well, anyway, shit. Have a good day. Like, yeah, some of it's going to be, it's, some of it's funny. I'm not going to sit here and knock that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, but I can't say, line, but so where do if, we if draw we the know, line? For then, you, how do, where do we, in your opinion, where do we draw the line? I just think we have to be mindful. I just think we have to be mindful. I think that, um, you know, overall the board, it's like, it, 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 the only way people would draw the line until they see is like, damn, it's happening, right? Mm -hmm. But we gotta stop waiting till things is happening for us to go cry about it and feel bad about it and send our prayers. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of th times, like something the soldier was saying is, there could be a lot of love being shown. Like a lot of people joke as if it's funny all the time. But instead of joking, you could just show love. Like, it's really the energy you you want to introduce. Like, show love. Like, yo, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to the soldiers out there. Let them see that. Like, mm. let them see. Like, shout out to the families. And they need, the a, they need to see a lot of that. Like, yeah, all the jokes all to me. Like, all this clout. Like, he said it. He was like, I know y'all doing this shit for clout. A lot of that shit do be for clout. Who could get the most likes and retweets from the funniest thing on Twitter and Instagram? Like, fuck that. Like, say some positive shit and see how fast it get retweeted like how about we have a battle of that like everybody can't always be throwing out fake funny like y'all nah. like some of y'all are fucking sick in the head and i don't know where y'all get these jokes from it'd be funny but y'all need a new mind but like you know what i mean i think like, like no. honestly what well, uh alice made a great point of them tagging like the iranian leaders right and honestly i'm gonna keep it 100 that's where it's fucked up at because it's like y'all dragging it now because we a part of our jokes be like, well, I don't know the Trump supporters, but I know on the opposite side, we like, man, fuck that nigga, beef with him. But you got people like really tweeting these niggas like, yeah, y'all back not like on some bullshit. And like, they responded back, right? Yeah, like, like, like it's just, like y'all tweeting Iranian leaders. Like, are y'all yeah, fucking it's, stupid? It's like, it's just like, and first of all, half these people doing it don't got no manpower. Like, you can't just go call the embassy, be like, hey, can you send the troops out? Because they told me they was going to blow my mom up. Shut up. Like, y'all can't do anything. Idiot. Like, and a lot of people can't do anything. So it's like, if you, like, it's just sometimes I think, like, everybody got to understand your opinion is not always desired or required. Not to mention every, you don't have, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. Like, you don't always have to try to be this funny guy. Like, that's like the annoying thing. Like, that's getting on my nerves with social media is the constant need to feel like y'all have to put your voice in everything, especially when y'all not knowledgeable, y'all don't understand, and y'all just putting out information as if it, it doesn't backfire, which like to me brings me to the next, like the next thing is like Ari, mm. Ari Lennox, it's the same thing. Like to me, it's no different. Like 
you know, Ari Lennox is going through the thing when the, the dude made the tweet about tweeting about him and Tiana Taylor looking like, what do you, what do you call them? Rottweilers. Rottweilers. The, and how it's he doesn't understand how. <laughs> I love Rottweilers. They are beautiful. Okay, boom. <laughs> so, like, comparing them to Rottweilers and saying that somehow they're still unattractively attractive. Like, so what I will say, right? So to me, you know, I get exactly why Ari is very frustrated. So I have two sides to this, right? Yeah, let's hear it, please. I know, I got two sides to this. Because right? I know you was going, Ari Lennox, no, I feel you, boom. No, like, no, no, yeah. I, got two, I got two sides to this, because you'll be surprised. So I got two sides to this. Honestly... I told you I'm tired of seeing celebrities let people one tweet that go viral rile them up. Like it's tons of people tweeting stupid shit like this. It's just that some of them don't go as viral, but it's just people talking. Like you can't again because so many our people are on this clout chase and trying to make these funny tweets or make it so relatable that people think it's funny. They're going out of their way. Like celebrities have got to stop letting people affect them that Again, their opinion is not required or desired. They're putting in, putting voices to things that doesn't even matter. The second thing I want to say to that is, at the same time, people do have preference, right? And what I mean by that is, in certain demographics, people are used to what they're used to, right? Everybody has a preference, like, you know what I mean? And as time change, like she said, like, people praise big lips, People praise like things that they used to shun them on freckles. Now every girl oh, want to do makeup freckles. Gats, I guarantee you, know, you, you, you I guarantee still. you the same way bitches be doing Botox all in age. They want stronger features too. So I don't think women that do have features like, you know, I have strong features, you know, like women who have features like, um, stop what the fuck, bro. Women who have features like Tiana Taylor or Ari Lennox. I don't think you should find offense to it. You're just not that. You're just not their preference, but that's fine. There's tons of men you, you are preference. J Hill, you have a, you have you you have the motherfucking. Uh, oh my god, I'm trying to speak. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you can. All right, go ahead. So all that to say is, although I do that, do think that you know men are programmed to see European looks and light skinned women and think that that's the only thing that's pretty. And because that's what people praise, it doesn't mean that the strong featured black Queens are not as beautiful. It's just that some men, you're just not going to be the preference. It doesn't have to be the end of the world for that though. All that's right, what I was so saying. You about. have points, but God damn, I think I'm like that. Not the opposite, but I, I feel like, um, my nigga, first of all, you sign up for this shit. Period. Like, God damn, like, all these celebrities coming out crying about- They cry about everything, bro. He's the most them. sensitive celebrities I've ever seen in my it's life. It's like, now. yo, you you signed up for this life. Like, you literally signed up for this life. Uh, Two, if it don't apply, let it fly, my nigga. Period, like, that's facts. Like, grow the fuck up. Like, I get that people doing this is wrong. So I don't want to, let me, because I, I tend to like talk about how I see things and not both sides, right? So people doing this is not right. We shouldn't do this. But it's the life. It's life, and, and it happens. So because we know that, yeah, there's nothing wrong with voicing your opinion. A ain't nothing wrong with that. But you got to take the backlash that comes with it. Because a lot of times when you voice your opinion, you've given people, you've given people admonition to say something back to you. So yep. now you, you made this response in the video. Now you're giving people to say something back to you. So you got to take that. If you post a picture on Instagram, you're giving people the opportunity to say something how you look. You're doing that. So you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, all right, okay, bet. I'm putting myself on this platform and people are going to think what they want. Right. And I have to be okay with that. Right. Like, so um, all I'm going to say is like, yo, like, first of all, you signed up for this. Toughen up. You got a lot of uh, good points, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not about to say she don't. She definitely got a lot of points. It's just like, yeah, yo. Yeah, she may, like. Don't I, let this shit affect you that is, much. My thing is, what irritates me is like. You know, like in a time where we all do have a voice, like, you know, when people say like black men don't like black women, I don't believe that in an, it, in its entirety. I don't. I think there's reasons why yeah, we have cause... said that because, but I know tons of black women. What, babe? Thank you, baby. I know tons of black men who love black women. And actually, I, I know it. tons of black men who love Ari. I love like that, boy, like, man. that, like, <laughs> sit here and praise her like Ari fine as shit. Tiana, too. I see Tiana like Taylor on people's. Like a motherfucking caramel. I, I see. The little, the little caramel candies, the little square things. <laughs> you like a motherfucking, uh, like a motherfucking. Milk dud? No, not a milk dud. 
What are they, they called? The old people candy. They be good it's as old shit. Old people candy. The so camera now I'm dusty. Can, candy that be in a little. They used clear. to be in my grandmother's at the bottom they be of her good purse. As shit, you tripping? They don't even got a good wrapper. It's clear because we want to see the camera. You oh, know what you talking about the? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I Great. thought you was talking about the, the one to the yellow. yellow, the nah, sugar, I don't the know. sugar. They daddies. was all right though, but they was called sugar daddies, I don't right? Know, but they the was called clear sugar daddies. It was like just caramel. Just caramel, fine. So all that to say, it's tons of men who love Ari and Tiana. Praise them all to body everything. Talk about how thick Ari is. It's like you gonna let one nigga come who tweet went viral, say some watching, and now you and your feelings like, come on, baby, we gotta get out of that. As we know, people on Twitter have an unnecessary voice. It's giving people that live in places like fucking Iowa opinions (laughs) that don't like. (laughs) Like that don't. My nigga, you live in Iowa. Like you live in Iowa. You like live that nigga probably lives nigga. in like Seattle. Like, like it, it rains so, every, every fucking like, day. Like who cares? Focus on that. Like these people have no like Nevada. Like <laughs> it's somebody who live in fucking Nevada. Like who the fuck you know that live in Nevada? That just be like, yeah, you look like a white roller, bitch. You never even seen one. Like so what? <laughs> like we gotta stop being offended by everything. Like it's just too sensitive. Black men do Coming love from the black most women. Person. But black men do love black women. Stop putting that out there. Like black men don't like us. Yes, they do. Yes, they nah, do. Niggas, niggas love they black women. do. Like, and we're not in that time no more. People got to speed it up. They keep holding on to that time. Niggas is not living like 1822. Like we are in 2020. Our black men do love black women. Yeah, I love, Period. I love, I love my black woman. Yo, speaking of niggas loving black women. Yo, uh, we we can just keep it going. Yeah, niggas love black women too much at this point because they <laughs> they be willing to do it at all costs. <laughs> niggas, they any type of black woman they can like. Niggas is wild. And first of all, first of all, so if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this motherfucking um surviving R. Kelly shit. My Yo. my nigga. First of all, I'm confused. Part two. Yo, we get the point. Yeah, I'm like, sick of it. We get it. Like, yo, like we don't need to see no more. Like, like we get right, it. we like, got it since now. The they try to like, make that bag because like, now, they, they like this is selling. Like, fuck that. They wild and niggas want to know. Niggas want to see. Whole time they giving glimpses and pieces. We still don't know. Like niggas don't know what the fuck happened. We still. get it. Like we, don't we need know, to know what no we other, don't. We don't need to know no other stories. Like we get it, bro. Like, can we talk about how we Google Dame Dash at age today? And he was over here talking I don't about. Understand. How disgusting is it? But he dated her too. What are they only like three years apart? So if Aaliyah married, not Aaliyah and Dame Dash, Jay Z uh, and no, well, R. no. Kelly so R. Kelly Dame married Dash. Aaliyah when she was fifteen. Right. He was twenty seven. Right. Dame Dash was dating Dele- Aaliyah, and he only like two to three years younger than R. Kelly. So he was what twenty four? Like, like yeah. she was still fifteen. Like, so what are we talking about? He got on here and said it so. You know, he comes on here and he says, and at first I was reading and I was like, damn. You know, he mentioned how Aaliyah, like, said to him, like, basically, like, she's glad she's over with that. She never, keep that nigga away from her and that he was a bad guy, right? But I'm just confused because the whole principle is of him dealing with a child. But you were dealing with her too. And he was also disclosing that Jay-Z was after her heavy too. So what really Yo, that's is a, the deal. Listen, man. All I'm saying is... Because all not, y'all niggas old. All I, y'all I ain't saying old. this right, but back in the day, where you think them sayings came from, if she old enough to cross the street, she old enough to get hit. If she got grass on the field, play ball. Like, where you think these sayings come from? It's weird, but like, that's old, like... Old, nasty niggas. I yeah, mean, like, like, this was a real Even the color purple. Thing. That nigga was hella older than her. Like, yo, like... Th- Facts. Like, like, th- like Those things is real. So the fact that... The fact that... This is a, even a surprise to everybody, though, honestly. Because yeah. they even know back in the day, they knew what type yeah. of niggas the niggas was dealing with. They knew these niggas so, was sick, uh, uh, so especially in the industry. So apparently Dame Dash disclosed that the real reason why him and Jay-Z stopped dealing was because Jay-Z knew what R. Kelly was doing and went on tour with him anyway. And he and him fell out because of that. Who, Dame and Jay-Z? Yeah, he was like, everybody thinks this is because Dame was hating on him or some bad deal happened. It's or the fact that, new. you know, Jay-Z was also trying to get with Aaliyah hard at that time too. But it wasn't until he decided to still go on tour with R. Kelly for, I think, the Best of Both Worlds tour that Dame Dash was like, I'm done. Like, I'm done. I'm sorry. I don't know. I think, yo, like part of me want to like Dame Dash. Like, because he's definitely a great businessman. A business part of me man. do, too. Yeah, like, he's too. he's a great businessman. Like, he just, I don't know. Now, the fact that it's another story, we thought you didn't fuck with Jay-Z because he just wasn't doing business how you wanted to do business. Like, from my understanding, Dame wanted to keep everything in-house. You know what I'm saying? Dame wanted to handle business uh, the real entrepreneurial way and 
keep all the money in between them. Jay wanted had a bigger goal in mind. He wanted to yeah. do things differently. Dame ain't like that, and he felt like he felt like the uh, he couldn't move forward with yeah. that business. And Jay Z was like, I guess he said he was a part of making the whole rock rock aware, yeah. and so he, he owed him bread or something yeah. like that. Like I just, and now it's, you're saying because of Aaliyah, like bro, you gotta. Like, it's crazy because like you know all in all, I just think that you know in Hollywood, there's always a lot of hidden things going on that people don't like to talk about. Um, but my question is, you know, if that is true. And Jay Z did know what R. Kelly was going on, what was going on with R. Kelly and the girls and Aaliyah, and he still did business. My question is, you're in the industry, yeah. you're heavy in the industry. If you know that your colleagues or fellow peers in your industry are doing foul things, such as I don't know, underage girls and things like this, do you decline business with them? Um, do I decline business? Yeah. With them? Do you like? Nah, I'm good. Like I'm not doing that show. I ain't doing that. No, thank you. I'm not interviewing this artist. No, thank you. Do you do you decline right, so, dealing with these artists damn. or these people that you do business with? If it's, you know they're doing foul things, one's a pedophile, one's a six, nine. rapist, he one's had a millions of interviews. Like, but I'm, I'm, but I'm asking you, so, would you still go forward and do business? Um, honestly, it's, it's, it's easier said than done. But I'm gonna just be real. If the business benefits me, probably so. I'm gonna just be 100% transparent. So like, knowing that even Kodak Black, they allegedly got all these rape charges mm -hmm. and like sexual assaults. Would I interview Kodak Black? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Would I interview Six Nine? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that that will put me on a a level of just Which, it, will, it will make me succeed. But that's why I say a lot of people don't like Ebro, and some people could say for 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 his interview with um Kodak Black, and some people could say that he was wrong for bringing it about on an interview basically when he know they weren't supposed to be talking about that. However, I do love the fact that he was able to put it out in an interview like, yo, nah, this is not cool. Right. We don't support right. that. So right. he made it known that like, look, yeah. interview or not, like we don't support that. Yeah. And and, and, yeah. and that's that's what I do respect. Yeah. And I so, think I'm mad enough to say that, yeah. Yeah. but the business is separate from my yeah. emotions and my feelings. So going to it, do you handle it like, you know, you about to go, say you about to do this artist and you know wow nigga you heard all these things some things are confirmed and things like that do you go into it like you don't know what's going on or you don't care like look we here to do business or do you make it known like look i'm about to do business with you just know that i don't condone that so do, how do you handle that like do you say that up so front? again it depends the situation so like i've had instances where i've had issues with artists and i talked to them and we still had a, a interview mm -hmm. but again business and emotion should not be in the same room together. So okay. just being honest, my, 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 my professional self says, if, if you're going to do the interview and you know, this is, this is happening, you don't need to bring it up. Right. Like you right. don't need to talk to them about it because you know what happened. You decided to take yeah. the interview. Now, if you don't like it, you can decline and tell them why you get what I'm saying. But once you say you're going to take the interview, you should handle, it's your, like it's you over. Should handle your business, yeah. at just being business and leave the person right. at the door. So do you think people should feel away? Because because Aaliyah was such a loved artist, How and she's not here anymore, and Dame Dash is putting out news that obviously everybody knew at that time what was going on, Jay-Z included, as being so close to Dame Dash and Aaliyah at that time. Should people feel a way about Jay and look at him anyway now because this news is coming out? People should feel a way about every single thing. Like, if somebody is dealing with a minor, like, yeah. that shit is weird. So right. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you're yeah. Jay-Z, if you fucking... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Fucking Barack Obama. Like, right. if you're if you're dating or dealing with yeah. an underage woman, girl, That's that, that. Shit is, that shit is fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, we, we, we can feel away, but we still can understand. Like, yeah. we understand those times. That don't make it yeah. right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her parents were... Clearly yeah, yeah. okay with it, and and her parents. I mean, her parents choose not to. They refuse to speak on it. Um, you know, just due to Aaliyah's legacy and not wanting to speak on it. Um, but what I heard is that R. Kelly also has an um NDA mm -hmm. non disclosure agreement. Excuse me. Um, saying that he cannot speak on Aaliyah. Um, you know, I heard for multiple reasons, but I know that that is something that is heavily hushed. So um, you know, Dame Dash mentioned like he. Leah didn't get into details, but she was heavily scarred by whatever happened mm. through that time, you know, and she did disclose that to him as a friend. So all that to say is, you know, it's a really sentimental topic. You know, me personally, 
because I just can't. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, it's it just like, you know, rumors and speculation is one thing, but yeah. con something that I know concrete evidence of. So do if we I have don't concrete, rock with it, I don't rock do with we it. Have concrete evidence he married that, her, yeah. There's a marriage certificate. Oh, you're talking about yeah, like talking about R. Kelly and Nelia? Uh, Jay Z and Nelia. What about them? Is it is that concrete evidence? So apparently they didn't. They were not item, but they dated. Like they didn't date it. They they were going to date. He was trying to pursue her heavy, but it didn't go down where she ended up talking to Dame Dash. So there's no concrete, you know, that they um, did it. But the point is of he didn't know the his reasoning. Niggas is, knew she was 15 years old. Basically, man. Fuck, right? Like, he uh, the reason is he still knew Aaliyah and R. Kelly, and he still chose to do the best of both worlds. But at that time, they both were hot. That's a money maker yeah. in itself. So as far as business, wait. So niggas are upset with Jay Z for still doing because Jay Z knew about. Tour. He did this with R. Kelly. about R. Kelly and Aaliyah. Yeah, and he still did this. I'm sorry, I don't got shit. And they was all Rockefeller, and you gotta remember they all were on the same label. Oh, so R. Kelly was under Rockefeller. No, Aaliyah, Dame Dash, just Aaliyah and Jay Z affiliation. Oh, so Aaliyah was Rockefeller. Right, Dame Dash. R. Kelly was doing something wrong to somebody that's under his family. They're all their family. Right. Yeah, so that's why Dame Dash is like. I get it's a character thing. Yeah, it's a character thing. So you know because of that. He was like, he didn't do anything else with uh, R. Kelly off the strength of Aaliyah, and Aaliyah approved it's a, that. It's approved. a loyalty thing. It's a loyalty thing. All right. So, again, that's not, that's just different people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I can look at him like, nah, that's fucked up because that's your family. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody fucks, if somebody yeah. fuck with my sister or something, I'm not doing nothing Yeah, with you, you like, fuck out of here. So, I understand that. Yeah. However, again, it takes a lot to be who Jay Z is now, and mm -hmm. it's not a lot of Jay Z's, it's not a lot of Diddy. So he did so I'm pretty right. sure he was strategic. On yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty sure these people yeah. have done a lot of things that so yeah. many people wouldn't agree with. Yeah, but I'm sure. It, I guess that comes with the territory. Again, I'm not saying being unloyal is cool. R.I.P. Aaliyah. Yeah, they and keep dragging her. Yeah, like, they keep the dragging her through like, this because of this fucking this survivor R. Kelly. Even rest in no, peace. she can't rest in peace, and because of due to the situation, like, it's just constantly like, yeah. This, like, enough is it. enough. He's a sicko. He's, he's in jail. In, he's like, in jail. Let the jails deal with him. I'm about tired. So let's talk power. I know we had an oh, hour. Yeah, 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 we can talk. What's going on? Yeah, fuck it. First of all, let's shout out you because. I yo. fuck with you, right, yo. So that Before shit. we go to power, that's how you know power. I'm gonna talk about you first yo, because look, you, you is dope. I ain't gonna you lie. is started dope. Off slow. The second, okay, second season I didn't like till episode four. But the shit. But got when lit. it it got lit, it like, got lit. They they. It they got did lit. a great job. Like the writers did a great job. Mm -hmm. I fuck with. I remember when we on watched the first to power, season. But I, I had no idea what it was gonna be like on the first season. And when I watched it, remember we started watching. Yeah, it was like, dope. damn. This shit good. Like, it was crazy. The Second season. No, nah, he's a sicko. Second season, they definitely did what they were supposed to do. I'm really happy. I'm actually excited for season three. Um, you, It's crazy because so, I really... Go ahead. You say you're excited for season three. Yeah. You know what I think about season three? Just, what? just a little bit. Look, I got some tea. Come on. I let's feel go. like season three is almost kind of getting repetitive because he's like, he want to do that to... His neighbor, I, and when I think of it, all I, I, I almost think of Taken. So Taken one and two is like the same yeah, thing. Yeah, okay, and then if you okay. have another Taken, it's like yo, you're no, still but this has the same type of plot. You know what I liked? What they did? They threw his equal, which is a female, in there, and whole time I'm thinking that might not even be his baby. Damn. Remember, yeah, she was dealing with the other nigga. They ended up doing all that. And then she came to talking about she pregnant. That might not even be his baby. And you know Man. she crazy too. That'd be a crazy spinoff on season yeah. three. So whole time, he no longer, he can scope somebody else out like that because he's not heavily in love with her no more because unfortunately she's crazy. Ain't that some shit? That's a typical nigga for you. I tell you, I could do it. I could do it. The minute you do it, mm, yeah. like I don't even like you like that. Like that's that life. nigga, that's, that, that's the typical nigga. But he's, remember, he only kills What's and his kills. Life? Or stalks people he's in love with. Like, right. it's not like he's doing it to everybody. So, to me, what it's shown is, one... I don't think he's, he one, stalks people he's in love with. I think guess he, the fuck he do. It's think, always about the girl he I, loves. I think everything. He, he only people kills that, but, people that uh, that can ruin their relationship, interferes with their relationship. But, but guess what? Or somehow gets entangled about, into that relationship. To, I think it's not love. I think it's lust. I think it's the chase. Because yeah, no, he I loves the chase. I think it's really life. It's like, yeah. even like, as, as men, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking like, damn... Cause I've had conversations about like me and you. I'm like, yo, once I have sex with a girl, it can potentially change the way I even yeah, think about you. Yeah, he definitely tried to dub me in the beginning. Too. Whatever. Anyway, like, I just want to let you know, don't get. I was like, mm -hmm, nigga, whatever. Whatever. But two like, years later, here we are. Any anyway, so I'm like, 
I feel <laughs> like it's, that's how men are, right? We love the chase, and then once we get her, it's like that's why you see these memes. Like he did all that just to waste my time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. It's like he but don't. He, I don't think. I don't think it's because I, I think it's the chase. He's really interested in these girls. Then but he get I one think, of them, it's like I. Right, I think Lord. he can't. I think he. She's like him. So it's no longer a chase because they're the same people. Right, right. So now they move in whatever he has his lifestyle the of what he always envisions with the person he loves. Like we'll have a perfect life. Now that and then he's like he he's off of that chase though because she's too much like him. So I'm excited for season three because I need to see how Shorty act. I want to know if that's his baby. Um, I need to know how he about to deal with this neighbor. Like now nah, you showed out. I fuck with you. So we, power step we, your we fucking done, shit up. We done, we done with this. We yeah, fucked up. Yeah, we're All right, so look, hour. let's just do this. Let's just yeah. do this. Quick disclaimer: If you're listening to this on Tuesday via uh, um, the audio, you can turn it off because yeah. So we just let you know. Wait, so what it's, happened? Just let you know. It's you have till Sunday to watch the hour. Right, but I mean, oh. we just gonna give them this because because we're dropping <laughs> oh, so this on Tuesday. It. So we just right, let you know. It's, right. it's, so we're gonna wrap up with this with power. I'm gonna just make just it say, last. Let's make it last. I'm gonna just say. So listen, if you're listening to this, cut. We're about to talk about power. If you haven't watched Power yet, you can you, yeah. can, you can cut um, it off right he, now. At you least he's nice time. and he gave y'all an option because I I'm was about you know. to let y'all yeah. know no, right I'm now. Just, I'm just letting you know that quick disclaimer. I fuck with that, babe. So let's no talk worries. about Power. Your fucking writers suck. I'm just saying. I was really upset because all this buildup of who shot Ghost and y'all going to take me on a journey of who didn't? Get the fuck, bro. Like, like we didn't even see. I didn't even... Like, come I'm on. I'm thinking this episode is about to show us who definitely yeah, shot like, Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Now we got to go. Okay, now we know it's not Rutimi. Now we got to go next episode. Now we know it's not this one. Then we go next episode. What the fuck are y'all doing? No. Like, yeah, like, they y'all really just trying to drag it out. Yeah, y'all like, are dragging it out. Like, and we only have four more seasons. Y'all made us wait. Damn, well, how long we waited for this episode? Well, A month? Uh, what did I get? Like, that? Two it months? Like, cut like, the you bullshit. Made, you made me wait two months for this? 50 Cent, fuck you. <laughs> I don't think it's 50 Straight Cent. Straight up. Because I ain't gonna lie, the one time 50 Cent directed the uh, the episode, that shit was hard. The one episode 50 Cent directed, that shit was hard. Well, but, he could have said nah. Like, that's what he could have like, said. But nah, I, know, I, like I know what he could have said. It, even if he didn't, he could have been like, mm, nah, that ain't it. They ain't going like that. 50, the same way we bullied you. For Trey songs being on the intro, like, I'm bullying to... you for this fucking episode because I feel slighted and I'm really irritated because we paid five ninety nine for the extra stars feature and you disappointed me. Right, like for all that, like come on, bro. Like y'all really just they basically where's snowfall at? They, Fuck they, is they facts, talking no, about? They basically That's showed us feeling. the episode where's before. Where's snowfall? Behind, like they basically yeah, showed like us y'all the showed us before, the, like, y'all might as well have this episode at after that episode we watched that you left us hanging on. Then like come on, son. Like this episode should have went weeks ago like i'm over it i'm tired and i i'm glad to know that power is about to be over because at this point y'all are dragging shit out and i need something new i need some zest i need snowfall i need you period yeah yeah i mean i, I get what you i need sons of anarchy fuck that sons of anarchy was a great thing but i don't think what can I need come prison next prison break you know what i'm saying like ain't nothing fucking what can with, come next ain't nothing fucking with sons of anarchy prison break Ain't nobody fucking with that yeah. shit. Citizen Anarchy is all time still my favorite. I, I haven't really fully dived into prison. That's prison, prison, pr- prison break. They charging niggas $20 per yeah, fucking season. Yeah, that's why, because I'm not it's fucking ridiculous. paying for it. But anyway, I, I guess... I, that's it, man. I, I guess y'all can wait for the fucking... What, the spinoff of Power... Power Book 2 Power or some Book shit. 2. Yeah, good luck, because I'm not fucking watching. I'm, a, well, I'm definitely going to watch it. Just because... Tariq, I don't know. He pissed us off. The whole Power I mean, career... And now he going to turn into ghosts. I don't know how I feel about it, you know, but we'll see. Hey, make sure you uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Google Podcasts, anything you listen to it on. Make sure you hit the notification button so you can know when we're posting. But we're letting you know we record on Sundays. We post the audio on uh, Tuesdays, Tuesdays. And we try to get you the video on Wednesday. But, you know, we're broke, so we get it when we get it. <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Know, it takes like, time. If, if we had it our way, it would drop on Wednesday. We probably yeah. drop it the same day the audio yep. dropped, but we don't have it like that. I'm um, sorry. It soon comes, soon comes. If you're looking for to be featured or sponsor, um, make sure you hit us up. Also, if you want to be, we're thinking about like having people drop questions and like doing yeah, some relationship advice type shit, whatever. Let, let us know your questions. And yeah, we'll we think answer about that. Um, and things like that. I guess we're almost at 12. We don't know where we're going to go at 12. But, but we'll let you know. Just know we're going to be moving This is forward. episode 008. Uh, follow Eight you, weeks. so you want to tell me to follow you? At Healer Bay, H-E-A-L-E-R-B-A-E underscore on all social media platforms. Did you ever Thank hit you. that chick up? 
Um, about the meditation center? Yeah. Not just yet. Yeah. All right, you can follow me at mr underscore j a y h i l l the Gemini podcast at the Gemini Scorpio, Scorpio pod. pod. I said the Gemini. I keep doing that. Yeah, Gemini, Scorpio keep trying pod. To ex- exclude me from the podcast. Follow our producer Alex Blanc. What is it, Alex? The- Alexander, Alexander D. D. Blanc, you yeah. heard it real French on their ass. Yeah, man, and a little that's zest. It. You know what I'm saying? Cast twenty two hookah, Jim Fit- on Fitness, the body. Milani Brand, M- melt, melt by, by my. my, and we out. And we out. That's it.